hundred dollars, and even our competitors like the Bugis Backpacker Hostel, which cost twice the price per night. Besides that, the hostels also provide facilities such as television, computer with inter internet access, and even a pool table to make the um, backpackers feel at home. Um, based on the industry trail that we went on yesterday, we realized that the Hive implement marketing strategy as advertising on their own website, having a, a website with other hostels, and advertising in overseas hostels so that the backpackers overseas know where to go when they come to Singapore. Our idea is to increase their niche market from backpackers to foreign students and their families. Besides that, we are planning to implement an idea of printed advertisements, which my group members will talk on later on. So next, I'll pass my time on to Tao, who will elaborate on the foreign market. Thank you. All right, good evening to charters, handsome gentlemen, and beautiful ladies sitting over there. <laughs> Actually, we have an idea about how to expand our current niche markets. Uh, let's say, how do you think how many foreign students do have in Singapore? Maybe it's only me in the group, my friend there, or few at your school, but it's a huge number in Singapore. How, so we get, so we have a new market and merge. However, however, and however, it's not the foreign students we are focusing on. We want to address a new customer and it's either foreign students, relatives, and family who usually come over to visit the children during, during a short break. So when they come over, it's either student responsibility to go out there and look for their family accommodation, right? Um, let me just tell you a story. Two years ago in RTS, we they have 44 foreign students. And can you believe it? More than half of them had the parents stay in the same hostel for the first visit and also the same and the same hotel for the next and next visit. The reason why? Actually, most of foreign students are not very good at the language and familiar with the location the first time they come to Singapore. So they usually just go to ask for advices from the seniors and the power of word logic. From here to capitalize on the phenomenon, why don't we just approach them first? Have them here, we got an excellent service at incredible price of $20 per person per day. Compared to like normal middle class hotels, which may cost you more than $100 per day. It's good, isn't it? It's good for convenience for the foreign student and of course beneficial for us. Uh, so the question is, how are we going to do it? Forgetting everything about the costly large scale advertisement on television, new Facebook, internet and everything. We have two strategies. The first one, we will work closely with a smaller community who really has the power to distribute information to every single foreign student in Singapore. And the second one, we will go to the hostel, work with them, and try to put our information in the hostel. And we believe they work. We test my other son to my teammate, Regis, who will tell you something more interesting. Thank you for your attention. Hi, everyone. I'm here. So I'll be elaborating. So I'll be elaborating more on the events which we can target on. In line with our aim of targeting the foreign market, we can make use of the major events happening in Singapore to help us achieve the aim. So let's take a look at the events calendar in Singapore, namely the first Asian Youth Games 2009 and the first Summer Youth Olympic Games 2010. The first AYG Game Village is at Swiss Hotel, the Stanford, which is just opposite SMU in the Bugis area. As you can see, the Hive is located at the, at the vendor and it's quite near the Gaines Village. So we can tap on this advantage to boost our business opportunities. Budget-conscious tourists who wish to view the games and at the same time have closer interaction with the competitors participating in the AYG can also find a foundation in the Hive. Another major event to take note of will be the YOG in 2010 next year. The Hive will and should view it as a business opportunity to help promote their brand name to others especially if they are looking to expand their business operations in other countries. All year round, there will only be a few picks, which means that these services will be run on an ad hoc basis. So through all these picks, we hope that the good reputation of the Hive will be spread through word of mouth and increase our popularity. So during this period, publicity can be done through internet, maybe through official websites such as the AYG websites and the YOG websites. 
Popular social networking sites such as Facebook and Lonely Planet, a backpacker website, can also be used for advertisement. Hence, the Hive should be aware of events happening in Singapore, plan beforehand, and take the first step in capturing the market. This is essential if the Hive wants to have a competitive advantage against other key industry players, namely the Buddhist backpacker hostel. Being able to plan ahead, this will give them ample time to publicize as well as to introduce new pricing packages to attract potential customers. So with that, I'll pass on to Hui Xing. Uh, hi everybody, my name is Hui Xing. Um, when we visited the Hive yesterday, we noticed that there are advertisements however, on the different places of interest and the budget hotels of other countries. However, these advertisements were small and were not conspicuous and it doesn't really attract the attention of other people. Therefore, our plan is to have advertisements painted on the, around the hostel, on the walls, the corridors, and the stairway. This idea come about because the, the advertisements are appealing and it can attract the other people. Customers can get information of the different industries and services in Singapore, there are different industries such as fashion, F&B, and also recreation. Just at one glance, they can find everything and the things they need to know about Singapore. As for the cost of doing this, the companies will have to pay for the areas that they want to be painted according to the size of the, their advertisements. After paying, the customers will have the freedom to paint what advertisements of whatever design they want as long as it's not offensive and it's not vulgar. Now I'll pass on the time to Serene who will talk more about the benefits of this proposal. Hey, hello, I'm Serene. Okay, yeah, so uh, the benefits of the paint, painted advertisements will provide a win-win situation for all parties involved. Firstly, easy accessibility to the information of the hotspots in Singapore will be made available to all the visitors or customers, making their trip in Singapore meaningful and interesting. Secondly, the industry will be able to publicize their business at low cost using Hive as a platform, <coughs> thus reducing their cost for publicity while increasing popularity. Lastly, our hostel will not only be able to earn extra revenue from the renting of areas for painting advertisements, it will also leave a good impression on our customers as they will realize that the quality that we give them is of very high quality. And the service that we give them is of very high quality. Okay, so in conclusion, through all our ideas, we hope that the Hive will not only be able to increase their total revenue, but also provide the provide quality services to the foreigners who visit Singapore, providing them with 101% service with a one-star price. Thank you.